Hello and welcome. This is Tyron X and you are watching episode 2 of my Let's Play. So, last time we went caving and I was promising lots and lots of redstone projects. So I thought I prepare something special for today so you guys can see that I'm not just smooth talking here. <laughs> um, I with this seed here I got the incredible luck to have a skeleton spawner nearby my home which is really awesome because it means I can get infinite arrows and bones and it just happened to be seven blocks blocks below the surface here I already encased it in um, stone bricks and made a water stream so I can collect the mobs and they will be transported to the surface uh, and I thought we will build a nice and friendly mob uh, processor for this so uh, let me go into my uh, creative world and show you what I've made so far and here we are I call this the bump the bottom-up mob processor, inspired by uh, the EMP unit, Ethos mob processor. This one comes, this one processes the mobs from bottom up instead of top down, since I have uh, my spawner underground, and I bet a lot of people have that as well. So I think that will be quite useful for other players as well. So just for testing, I have. Um, Skeletons uh, eggs down there, which regularly shoot out. That should simulate uh, skeleton spawner. Skeletons come uh, come up the water stream. They get uh, separated here, basically. They get uh, crushed to have hard health. These guys step uh, way down there until it's their turn, and they will drop down here and they will want to kill. Which is just exactly what we want to get lots and lots of XP. The way I did that is that uh, you have here a fence gate that closes while the mobs are being crushed. This opens for a short moment, then a lot of timing going on here. You see that a fence gate opens up here and the water uh, appears so they can swim up. And once some mobs collected here, the this cobblestone moves over and they're being crushed and the water disappears so we cannot escape. Uh, I know it's maybe not the most compact uh, way how to do this, but nonetheless it took me like three or four hours to get it to this point. I already tried uh, quite a few uh, uh, things here, but yeah. That was not too easy, I have to say. <laughs> and I'm really happy that I could get it working this well. That it's almost uh, almost flawless. So, I'm going to build this in my single player world now, in my multiplayer survival world. So, see you there again. Bye bye. Alright, I'm back in my survival world. Uh, I dig already out a small area where we can begin with. And I already prepared a few of the resources that we need to build this thing. And I really hope I will be able to build this by heart. Otherwise it could be that I need to cut this video or make a few breaks in between in order to look up how it's built again. So, let me replace some of these blocks with glass so we see what's going on inside. And actually, we are going to place the first piston here. There, oh no, I need that. Come on. Thank you. Here's going to be a fence gate. Again, I got my useful rocks. Uh, here will be. This is going to be the block that will crush the skeletons. Oh man, I'm so unorganized here. Jeez, what's going on with inventory in 1.7? That is so awkward. Alright. 
So this is going to be the the main part of this mob crusher. Uh, but actually, this is one block too high. It's gonna be here. I'm also gonna destroy this water source here for now. That is too annoying. case we will use a stone brick for the mob crushing wow I, I really <laughs> got too much resources it seems like we put away some of those things okay all right so here is the central part now it's correct um, no that's not still not correct it's gonna go on the look here, right, okay, now, I'm gonna power those guys, and yeah, I will, for most of my redstone contraptions, I am going to use stone bricks, which is going to help me uh, see when I am digging somewhere, I will immediately know that here is redstone uh, wiring and stuff, so that will be easier for me not to destroy my own progress okay and what I'm building here is actually like a T flip flop as you might know it uh, which is going to be powered by a clock that constantly pushes these things back and forth it's just a bit bigger version of it Okay, I think I broke the wrong block here, yeah. Uh, I need glass. Keep dropping my axe. Wonderful. Okay, now I need, uh, I need a repeater here. Oh, that's not right. I think I'm gonna come out a bit. Like this, yeah. So I will not interfere with this redstone block I'm going to place here to power up this repeater. This will indicate, uh, this will help us find out where the Crusher block currently is at. Uh, and this wire is going to be uh, powered by a clock later on. More water. I bet I am going to destroy my wiring several times in the process, as usual. But uh, that shouldn't matter too much. Okay, now I need on the back side a rather big clock here. A moment, I'm I have it on my second PC. Okay, I need a piston here. This is going to be oh great! So much for all these bug fixes that I made in 1.7. <laughs> so damn glitchy! It's unbelievable. Shortener. Then we need a piece of redstone. This is going to power the water dispenser as well as the fence gate below. Okay, we need a dispenser here, if I'm not mistaken. No, here. Here's gonna, gonna be the dispenser. That will give us the water, so the mobs can go back up, and I keep dropping my tools. Wonderful. And... Ok, 
Oke. Okay. Tiga box. Some space here. This will be hard. Uh, Oke. Okay. So. of repeaters four to be exact one two three and four then it's going to turn back this takes care of the appropriate delay that the mobs have enough time to go to swim up this water stream this block uh, that dispenser I mean why a repeater like this yeah and we'll take this wire down as well from here or you take this line from oh no not this oops take this wire here put the torch besides this is going to turn on and off the fence gate below. Yeah. Two wires right below the piston. And this might flood something now, I hope not. Okay, it doesn't. So Theoretically here should be, yes, exactly, here is going to be the fence gate that will be powered, oh, glass in here, this will be powering the fence gate here, alright, cool, put some glass here, uh, we need a water bucket in here, <coughs> that should be actually all already for the crushing part, so now we only need the clock, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me. This is going to be complicated. Uh, okay, I'm gonna build this to this side, not like in my creative world, because I wanna save space in this direction. Perhaps I will need it later. So, here it is in torch, first of all. Then a torch to this side. A comparator going in here. Thank you. I'm really happy to have a Ford efficiency 4 pickaxe, otherwise this will take forever. It's awesome. I do I do use still some iron tools still because I am cheap. But I will soon replace them with diamond tools. I need a torch in here otherwise you will not see anything. Okay, uh, here shall we gotta be uh, two droppers. This will be acting as a T flip flop. Uh, that will turn on and off two hoppers, which will act as the clock. They have to face into each other, that's why I dig down this deep. And here are going to be the hoppers. This is a simple hopper timer, as you might already know. Yeah, things work in here. 
14 exactly, okay. Oh, oh, let me put those later. Inside the other wiring is in place. Also we need we need one item in here. Okay, there will be one comparator down there. Like this there will be one look and a torch above it. Then another block. Right? No, that's not right. That can't be right. Moment, I did something wrong here. This, this, perhaps. Hmm, I think I put those droppers too low or something. Odd. Ah, this one is too low. Okay. Alright, then I just raise it all by one block a second. Uh, drop her here. Drop her here. Okay, gotta remake those. Uh, block. And drop her. Block. Block. Facing at each other. Like this. And the comparator will go here. Another comparator here. Block torch. Block torch. Redstone. Then I need one. Oh, that's okay, that's correct. And then I need one more comparator here. As it seems. And here one more block. Shovel. Okay. Uh, torch. This is going to reset our timer. This part. So this will go to the bottom hopper. With a simple wire. Wires on repeater. Like this. So in theory, this should all be on. Uh, I mean, this should be 14, I think. Yeah, this is 14. Okay. Hmm. Something seems to be missing. Um, Oh no, god. Wow, I am so lucky. I bet that guy came from the mountains. Wow, my hound my heart is pounding, man. <laughs> oh god. Man. That was so lucky. Jeez. I better get this area better fenced in. Oh my Okay, I still, I'm trying to figure out what I have done in cur- Oh, there's one item missing, which needs to go be down here. Okay, now the timer should be correct. And we should get a, a short pulse here now. Yes, exactly. So, let's see whether this did the trick. moment now, like Ito says. Okay, crusher is on. We'll crush the mobs to half a heart. More dispenses, ruins all our redstone, just as we planned. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we better put some glass blocks here. Hmm. 
No, it should work correctly. I hope. This timer should be... Fine. Yeah, this timer's fine. Crusher is on. Crushing, crushing, crushing. We all love crushing. Our dispensers, mobs can flow up. Wonderful. Oh, that worked on the first attempt. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm a Turn off the lights so the skeletons can spawn, and we'll see. Oh no, shit! <laughs> I, I forgot to cl enclose this area here. I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, there's a lot of missing, a lot of things missing here. Crusher's fine. This, this is all very incomplete still here. I'm just close it up here and we will need one water s oh there goes the drowning down there I forgot to make one more change um, I could come from above here so I'm gonna put one water source there how do I get there now glass. Uh, this will be stone brick here. And uh, this dirt in there. I don't think that's needed. I think that I put that there to prevent them from falling out previously. Yeah. Okay, I can break this. No problem. Okay. So they're going to land here again as I had originally. Uh, let me check if I have all the water sources correctly placed. Uh, this is, looks alright. Yeah, this looks alright. Now the only thing I gotta do is on the... The water source block below the switching fence gate we have to uh, change a bit uh, how I get there now. Perhaps from behind. I'll just stick straight down, I guess. Yeah, this water source block here cannot be a full water source block because they will drown there. We just have to move it a little bit outwards, and that should keep them alive. Oh yeah, the lag. <laughs> I think I managed to fix the worst part of the lags. I think that was fraps, uh, the frap settings that you split it every four gigabytes to film. Hmm, this is not... Oh, there's rest I'm missing. Where's there? What happened to this rest on here? I mean, did I, did I flood this area? No, what? What happened here? Oh, well now, did I flood this area? Come on. Oh, just... Oh, okay, that's all. That's missing, I guess. Is it? Hmm. It's not supposed to be on all the time. Moment. Oh, I gotta look it up again. Oh, there's another torch there that I forgot. Okay, it's supposed to be. So, right. That should do it. Let's check if this is working. Mm. This one should turn on and off. Well, open and close, I mean. Yes! Wonderful. Well, this is working now. Mm. 
That was quite interesting when I when I was uh, using this uh, skeleton farm for a while and locked out and locked back in again. There's lots of skeletons were all around the place. They seem to glitch out of here when you log off. That's also a rather new thing in Minecraft 1.7. It's a pity that uh, every time they build something new, they introduce a lot of new bugs as well. Alright, first skeletons are coming. They were not supposed to die down there though. I gotta look that up. Let's see whether these are working. Squash! There's two in there, I guess. Yeah, and now um, they go up. Wonderful. And should drop down here. And should be one hit kill. Yes! Okay, this one does two hits, but. That's good enough for me. That run really quick actually, I wasn't expecting that. To set up, I mean. Oh, great. They all died? Oh no, just one of them died. Hmm. Well, that happens with crushers sometimes that they die. With all the crushers, so. As long as the majority of them get through, I am happy. And you can just go AFK for long enough and you will have hundreds and hundreds of skeletons anyway. Wow, this is really cool, I have to say. Only unfortunate thing is the skeletons with armor, of course, are... Uh, uh, take more hits to kill. But this is pretty awesome. I like it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I think I will uh, finish this up, this place a little bit, make it a bit nicer. Then I'll be, I'll go AFK for a while, and we'll see how this goes. So see you later. Have you been feeling lonely and depressed lately? Are you missing the soothing sounds of clinking skeletons? Do you search for a bump in your base? Well, look no further. Tyrant Technologies has got you covered. Introducing... The bottom-up mob processor. You will have 24-7 clinking skeleton sounds. <laughs> An infinite amount of XP, arrows and bones and armors and everything you could ever wish for. Here at Tyrant Technologies, we will only give you the best we can offer. We're always at the cutting edge of technology. <laughs> oh, I suck at this. So yeah, it's completed. I really like it. So it turned out that's wonderful. I guess I am a little bit of a copycat here as yeah, as well. <laughs> because of Things to talk about in uh, Let's Plays. Wow, so much armor. Sweet. Uh, wow, better falling four. Amazing. Wow, this is going to be my new boots in that case. Sweet. I'll combine it. Well, that's it, guys. I will check the time. I will. Keep, try to keep my episodes between 20 and 25 minutes as usual. So, if you, uh, if this is going to be the end of the movie of the Let's Play, uh, I'm happy you watched it. And uh, see you next time. Goodbye.